Hello friends, and today I'd like to take a quick look at scrubbing through your animation. And this is when you move through your animation at your own pace instead of just pressing play. And you might already be using some of these techniques, but you might find a new one today that you didn't know about, and it could just make your time animating run slightly easier. And I have a link to each set of scrubbing techniques in the description below. So the first obvious way is to simply click and drag along the frame numbers of the X sheet or timeline. But while working on this little animation to help demo the last few weeks colouring tutorials, I found that the animation length meant that I couldn't scrub through enough of the frames this way, without the X sheet auto scrolling, as they weren't on the screen all at once. So if I wanted to control the scrub speed, I'd have to scrub through the first section, then scroll down and scrub through the next section. And if you scrub past the end of your animation, you drop off the end. You can't easily drag just up to the end of the animation. And you can of course just resize your view of the X sheet, or switch to a room with a full length X sheet to show more frames, or even change to the timeline view, where you can adjust the zoom of the frames, which is a really useful feature, but that still means changing to another room just for the sake of scrubbing, plus if you have a long animation you still might not be able to view all the frames at once. But then while editing this animation I remembered the scrub bar, which is this little widget here below the play controls, and it's made exactly for this purpose, and it allows you to scrub across all the frames of your animation, whatever the length. And I've been using OpenTunes for over a year now, and knew it was there, and what it did, but I've never really used it, I've just always scrubbed along the X sheet. But be aware though, that this isn't limited by your start and end play markers, so if I set these to just play a small portion of the animation, and then when I scrub with the scrub bar, you can still go from the first frame of the animation right through to the end frame, ignoring the play markers. But you can still use the markers to get to the start or end of your animation after scrubbing, by clicking the first and last frame buttons here, and using them is great for previewing at the playable frame rate, so they're worth getting used to. But the best feature is that the scrub bar is limited by the animation length, so you can scrub up to the end frame of your animation without falling off the end. However, there is a third option that might help, and that's to use the mouse wheel to scrub. But obviously, this only lets you scrub through as far as you can physically scroll the wheel in one go. But if you want to do so, here's a few of the options. And I'll list them in the description below, so you can take a look at them there when you're ready. And if you spot any other scrolling options I've not mentioned, why not tell me about them in the comments below? So the options for scrolling the mouse wheel depends where you hover over. So for instance, if you hover over the viewer and scroll the wheel, it just zooms in and out. And holding any single modifier key doesn't change that. But if you hold Shift and Control, it scrubs through your animation one frame at a time. With scrolling down, moving down the X sheet, and scrolling up, moving back up. And it only goes as far as the start and stop play markers. But if you hold Shift and Alt, it still scrolls through your animation between the play markers, but it jumps from drawing to drawing, which is really handy for you to control the scrub speed. So if I change the stop play marker to give us a longer range, and click onto the Leela level, and then if I hold Shift and Alt, with the mouse hovering over the viewer, as I scroll, it jumps just between the drawings. So here it starts at 2, goes to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then jumps to 8, then jumps to 9, 10, 11, 12. Whereas Shift and Control go through every frame whether the same drawing is shown or not. And there's extra options if you hover over the scrub bar itself. So anywhere in this dark area here. But it's worth noting that these options contradict the movements when you're hovering over the viewer, which for me is a real shame, but I guess it's best to get used to whichever of these two areas makes sense to you. But my feeling is that they should both work the same way. So for instance, just moving the mouse wheel on its own moves the playhead two frames at a time instead of one, and it moves them in the opposite direction that it does for the viewer. So in the viewer, scrolling down moves down the X sheet, but over the scrub area, scrolling down moves up the X sheet, and scrolling up moves down the frames. But as you notice, this also moves the playhead outside of the play markers. And the modifier keys are different too, so holding either shift or the control key, and using the mouse wheel, moves the scrub bar quicker. So in the case of my setup, it moves it 10 frames at a time. 
which is handy for getting to a part of the animation that's a long way from where you are. And you can adjust the number of frames this jumps by in the preferences dialog. So if you go to the egg sheet section and look at the next previous step frames, I've got it set to 10. So just change this to a different number and that's how far it'll move each time. And finally, holding Alt at the same time actually reverses the direction of the scrub. So if I just scroll up, the playhead moves to the right, and if I then hold Alt and then scroll up, it moves back to the left. Now I'm not sure why you'd want a keyboard shortcut for this, but maybe it'll help you. So that's it for today. There's my tips for scrubbing through your animation. Why not give them a go and see if you can find a new one that'll help you. And I'll see you next time with more tips. And that's a guarantee.